Assalamu alaikum everyone, I am Tahzeeb Ulalum. So welcome to my presentation on Mughal period. So let's get started. So who are the Mughals and uh, the rulers of this dynasty and their conquest of Bengal and also their basis uh, of their uh, period and then human rights in Mughal period, the fall of Mughal empire, we will discuss in this presentation. So the introduction, the Mughal period in India it was spanned from 1526 to 1857, and it was a, a mix of Persian, uh, Central Asian, and Indian cultures, and it, was, it influenced various aspects of society and art, even till now. So the question we can ask that who are the Mughals? So Mughals were the descendants of Timur and Genghis Khan, and their founder uh, were Babur, and he established the empire uh, by the first uh, battle of Panipat in 1526 uh, and also they followed Sunni Hanafi system of jurisprudence and they were known for their military prowess, art, patronage and efforts to integrate uh, cultures into their administration. Next. So the who were the rulers of this uh, dynasty that uh, that Babur, uh, Babur founded the, um, this empire and there were Huma, uh, the Emperor Humayun, Emperor Akbar, uh, Jahangir, Shah Jahan, Aurangzeb, and lastly, Bahadur Shah the second. And he was the, uh, the last emperor of this dynasty, and he was imprisoned and exiled by the British East India Company. Next slide. So, Mughal's conquest of Bengal. During the reign of Akbar, Bengal was annexed in 1526 and it marked a significant expansion of this in the east. So if we see this graph that these mainly the uh, western part of India were mainly Mughals under but the eastern uh, part of India, Bengal, Assam, Bihar and these parts were uh, annexed in uh, 1576 by the Mughals. But before that it was a place where the landlords or the uh, the Bengal Sultanate used to rule. So, and Bengal was a sign uh, significant source of domestic and international products, and it supplied rice, seals, cotton, textiles, and 40% of Dutch imports of Asia. And it was really remarkable. So next, uh, we can see that next slide. So what are the basis of this uh, period? Let's get started. So administration. And Mughal administration uh, was a centralized bureaucracy and it was laid by the emperor and divided into the, so the emperor uh, used to control finance, military, law, and public works. And then it was divided into subas, subas, then parganas. And, and also that Akbar in the Akbar region, it saw the introduction of Nansarabadi system and uh, many merit based, merit -based uh, system that where you can found the, and even today you can still. Uh, know the history of uh, Birbal, and he was a really meritorious person. As an example of that Mansarabadi, uh, Mansab uh, Dari system, Mansab Dari system. Okay, so next. Economy and taxation in that uh, period was primarily based on agriculture and trade, and also it was a currency based on gold, silver, and copper coins. And there was par primary tax up, and also import export duties, and, and the trade flourished during this uh, empire with the position, it was positioned as a silk road. Education, education that Mughals established and patronized madrasas, and especially that Islamic jurisprudence, theology, it was really good uh, time, but uh, it was not significant if we compare with the Euro. Uh, okay, so uh, the uh, Humayun, like his father, was a renowned scholar who patronized arts, literature and also the famous Shai Kosen, he uh, approved uh, as a pr principal which, uh, of a college which, which he established. And Akbar also promoted, uh, though he was illiterate, but uh, he was promoted a religious tolerance and patron scholars. So architectural marvels, architectural mar if you talked about architecture during Akbar's reign, the Mughal architecture flourished and primarily uh, utilized red sandstone as a building material. So even today we can see that Lalbagh Fort and the uh, and red fort in India, in India. So that it is also great piece of architecture. That they are also great pieces of architectural marvels. 
and the human rights during Mughal period. So the Mughal period used to follow Islamic law uh, and it was significantly shaped by the legal and cultural pluralism and it was followed by their predecessors and the first like we saw the introduction that how what they used to follow and Mughal sovereigns maintain Islamic traditions and judicious structure but they allowed in Hindu law uh, they, to be applied for by panchayat for marriage and inheritance issues involving Hindus and that was a great uh, piece of uh, thing about human rights and also more thing I want to add that during the Mughal period the accused rights to bail and the benefit of doubt Shuba in criminal justice were established, allowing for acquittal. So in the medieval period, it was a really gr great state uh, for, uh, for the for the uh, betterment of human rights. But an Akbar's reign often cited as period of really relative religious and tolerance and inclusivity. But there was some confusion about Aurangzeb. So some used to say uh, about anti uh, Mughals, they argue that uh, Aurangzeb killed lots of Hindus. But we want to say that his rule saw the construction and finding of numerous non-Muslim tem temples also. But yeah, and he was a really devout person. So there were, there were policies under his rule. So next slide, that uh, fall of Mughal Empire. So that uh, in 1739, Iran's Nadir Shah conquered Delhi and enslaved the Mughals. So it was really great part for the downfall. But the most important is just that incompetence of their Mughal army, because the, if you see what the Britishers or the foreigners, they used to have lots of modern ammunition, ammunitions at, for the time. So the Mughal army was not equipped with uh, equipped and also trained such uh, uh, weapons, with such weapons and, and also the influence and greed for powers and nobles, economic decline, so growth of regional power that we saw in the last in the last period of uh, Mughal's dynasty, in the especially in the 18th century, we saw the rise of Nawabs and also little king kingdoms and decentralizations, and and then and lastly that foreign invasions that played a lots of yeah that hardened this empire to fall. So the next slide. The conclusion conclusion is that. Uh, Mughal, Mughals had built their empire by making good use of, of resources. It is true. And they were and supporting a very rich Muslim dominated trade system in the Indian Ocean. And they, they conquered, they ruled the whole Indian subcontinent. So, despite this decline, Mughal period, even today, still is re remembered in the subcontinent. So, uh, this is uh, all about my presentation. And thank you very much. Have a great day.